Lucy. I'm a senior consultant at the flagship clinic next to Bank and Monument Tube Station. We specialize in laser hair removal. Today we're going to talk about the lifetime benefits of laser hair removal. The three main benefits of laser hair removal. One, up to an 80% reduction in hair. Two, a reduction in ingrown hairs, usually they're completely gone after a course of eight sessions. Three, a reduction in pigmentation. So if you're suffering from pigmentation on the beard, the underarms, or bikini from shaving and waxing, you'll find that this will almost be eliminated, if not greatly reduced, after a course of eight sessions of laser hair removal. When you come in for a laser hair removal consultation, how it works is we have a little look at your hair, ideally come in without shaving so we can see the density, the thickness of the hair, and the skin tone on that particular area that you want treating. We'll try and advise you whether it's a good area to do, like what the response rate will be, like if it's thick hair, maybe 60 to 80% reduction, if it's thinner hair, 40 to 60% reduction. We'll try and give you that estimate at the beginning so you've got a good idea of what you can plan for and a good estimate as to how much of a reduction you'll get yourself for each specific area of your body. And then we're gonna run through the aftercare process, what you need to do before and after treatments, what's really important to get the most out of your laser hair removal treatments to get the best result. Then we'll also do a patch test. So we will skin test the hair on every area that you want to have treated so that we get the specific wavelength, the specific energy into the skin, and then we know, yep, yeah, that's the correct setting to start with, that's perfect for this particular client on this area. And that's how it will work. And it just gives you a little bit of an indicator as to how it feels in the area as well. And then over the following 48 hours after your skin test, you'll just monitor the area, make sure everything's okay. You'll most likely see a little bit of redness. You maybe get a bit of a sting or an itch to the area. That's completely normal. Obviously, we're putting a lot of heat into the skin, so you do need to avoid the heat afterwards. Generally, you'll avoid exercise for two days, you'll avoid hot water for two days, and saunas and steam rooms and so on. But it's fairly straightforward. It almost feels a little bit like if you've waxed before, it's a similar sort of sensation, just mild irritation to the skin, and that's it, and then it's gone within usually a few hours, worst case scenario, two days. After that, you can then call and book your first session in. Um, you can have a treatment 48 hours after your patch test. Your first treatment of laser hair removal, you will see the hair fall out within a week to two weeks after the treatment. Then you're going to be hair free for around six weeks. Just before your next session, you'll see a little bit of hair regrowth coming through. A lot of the time, clients are already seeing the thickness is already reduced, so the hair is slightly thinner in consistency. After your second session of laser hair removal, again, the hair falls out. After two weeks, so you're hair free between sessions again. Just before your next session, you'll see a little bit of regrowth coming through. The density and coarseness is further reduced, and you might just be starting to see little gaps appearing in your hair growth on the area. After your third session of laser hair removal on the same area, you'll again see the hair fall out after two to three weeks. You'll really notice a good improvement in the skin texture. If you've suffered from ingrown hairs on that area in the past, you should be seeing a really good reduction in ingrowns. The skin should be settling down, and if you do shave between sessions, if you see any hair, you shouldn't be getting razor bumps anymore, and the skin should be a lot more healthier. After your fourth session of laser hair removal, you'll see an even bigger gap of no hair between sessions. So at this stage, you might be leaving an eight week interval between your treatments, and you'll still not really see much hair until the week before the treatment. You'll really start to see gaps showing now in the density of the hair. On the fifth to seventh session of laser hair removal, again you'll see no hair after two weeks of the hair falling out and you should have really big gaps. Sometimes clients are on eight to ten week intervals at this stage. And you should really see a good 60 to 80% reduction falling on the area if you've got coarse hair. On thinner hair, a good 40 to 60% reduction is likely. On your eighth session of laser hair removal, you should have experienced fantastic results on the hair growth and density of the area that you've chosen. We usually see at this stage a good 60 to 80% reduction. Clients are super happy with the results. They've barely seen any hair growth coming through at all. Ingrown hairs are vanished. They are definitely a thing of the past at this stage. After your eight sessions of laser hair removal, you will have a fantastic result and a really good reduction in hair. Some clients may only get two or three hairs back within the first two years and do a one-off maintenance session, let's say a year or two later. Whereas other clients might need another course of four to finish that area off to the standard in which they desire. 
and then after that if any hormones change for example if someone gets pregnant they might need one or two maintenance sessions in the future to hair removal on the face it's really important that you fully understand the quantity of hair that we're having to deal with now on the face there's over three and a half thousand hair follicles that is seven times more hair follicles per centimeter squared than on your legs so that's a lot more hair for us to have to deal with and have to remove permanently for you so you can understand therefore that it takes a lot more sessions to remove facial hair it's needed to be done more frequently so generally we start with a three to four week interval on the facial hair now we get you to a really good result with fantastic, fantastic results. However, you may need to do more maintenance and top-up sessions than other areas of the body. This is because hormones have quite a strong impact on hair growth on the face. So for example, for women suffering with PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, or those that just have a few coarse facial hairs, it could be that you need to come in once every three or four months long term just to stay on top of that hair so that you're not having to go back to plucking and waxing and shaving the area and then we can maintain a hair free face for you. The best selling in the package for laser hair removal at the clinic is definitely the half leg underarm bikini package. This is because these areas have got less amount of hair follicles, they are the areas that most people are shaving and waxing, particularly women, and they've got really coarse hair so they are the problem areas and they also respond really well to laser hair removal. Usually with eight sessions, we tend to achieve an 80% reduction for majority of clients, if not a higher percentage of that. So many, many women don't actually need top-up sessions on these areas. Hair at Cosmetic Clinic, we specialize in laser hair removal. We have three clinics based in London, two in the half of the city near Fenchurch Street, Monument and Bank Tube Station, and then one on Tottenham Court Road. We're open seven days a week. You can book a free consultation and skin test online at www.pulsightclinic.co.uk.